This is American Injustice, Volume 3 of the Patch Kincaid series by Robert P. Fitton, Jim Garrison. Patch Kincaid finds himself in late 1966, and he contacts his friend Johnny Rosselli in California to help him find Ray Mankiewicz. In doing so, Patch becomes part of an ultra-stealth group of individuals called the Milky Way Network. Led by a high-level American politician, the network's goal is to aid Jim Garrison's investigation in New Orleans. Within this network is Ray Mankiewicz, commander of the Hughes Air Force Base, Phineas Beauregard, and the attractive Lieutenant Natalie Tompkins. Detailed documents and actions of the powers to be are unveiled as attempts are made to forward the new knowledge to Jim Garrison. Being in the Milky Way network is not without risk, as an operative from the Kennedy assassination, Baker Finch takes Patch head on. Patch, torn by not being able to return to his family at Apex Junction, rebuffs the advances of Natalie Tompkins. When she leaves the safe house, Patch remains confused, but he realizes he did like Natalie. The government, using their minions in the press, both written and on the TV networks, begin a full-fledged attack on Garrison. The witnesses are eliminated one by one, and Garrison is characterized as a buffoon by NBC News, led by a Kennedy insider, Walter Sheridan, and Newsweek and the Saturday Evening Post provide hit pieces written by Hugh Ainsworth and James Phelan. Witnesses are intimidated and bribed while Garrison is mocked. An entire task force is set up inside the CIA to thwart Garrison's attempts at justice. At the end of 1967, there are hints that Robert F. Kennedy might have some political capital to run for president, but not unless LBJ is out of the race and something happens in Vietnam. The numerous speeches of Martin Luther King are highlighted, as well as Dr. King's merging the peace movement with the civil rights movement. And Patch Kincaid, he faces the clouded, dark future of 1968. You can get the Kindle at Amazon.com and the paperback at Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. The audiobook is at Audible.com. I'm Robert P. Fitton. Thank you.